Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 Reunion. In the last episode, we started the mission to Wutai, and uh, beat up everybody in Fort Tamblin and also Wutai's Crescent Unit, but now it's time to face the most fearsome foe of all. One, avoid training when you can. Two, protect Wutai at all costs. Three, uh -huh. ugly Shinra soldier dudes must be punished. Who are you? I'm Wutai's greatest warrior. It's over for you because now you have to face me. A little kid? This area is not safe for you. <laughs> Go on home now. You're the uh one going home. If you want to go any further, you're going to have to go through me. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do here? Shushu ha! Take that, bad guy! <sighs> Shushu ha! Ah, no! You got me! Ha-ha! <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with me once again. I saved Wu Tai. <laughs> I love her so oh, much. Oh boy, that's a lot of energy. That never, now, ever, ever gets door. old. I've seen that scene several times now in various playthroughs. Yuffie is still just the most precious thing. Ah, uh, nine-year-old Yuffie. I just want to give her a, the hot chocolate or something. I love how Zach just plays along with it. Once again, he's not a bad person. He's just technically on the wrong side of things. And now it's time to face our second most fearsome foe. The anti-soldier weapons. You must be the anti-soldier monsters. They are Activating so cool. Mode. Dealing with enemy abilities. This is something that's new to this version of the game as well. Some enemies use special abilities in battle. When these abilities are activated, they'll get an ability gauge. You could lower the uh, ability gauge by attacking the enemy. Furthermore, you can, if you reduce it to zero, you can cancel it entirely. In the original game, the enemies used an ability and you just had to deal with that. So uh, not all enemy abilities are easy to cancel, but they are cancelable technically. Uh, as you can see, there we go. You, sometimes you just gotta spam multi-hit abilities. So we got it down to 25% damage, which is nice. Uh, this is... Fyrara Wu? Fyrara... I think the J is a, a Y sound as opposed to a um, Baj. Could be, I don't know. Wu Tai is, is like... I don't know if it's meant to be Japanese. I guess it's Japanese, right? It's like an East Asian, your honor to me. which is a whole of cultures it. that I'm mixing together. It's kind of hard to say, but yeah. I'm pretty sure in my original Let's Play, somebody said something about it being a, a soft J. But yeah, we got uh, stunned that guy over there. Uh, you want to try to take one out as opposed to you know just attacking indiscriminately because then they can't do their. Uh, there we go. They can't do their uh, um, twin tomahawk anymore. Also, once you use a limit, uh, your. Uh, your meter, your gauge there goes back down to normal, generally. 
so it just gets higher and higher until you actually get a limit to use and then it's done. Uh, also, uh, on our MP over there, you can see it says break. Uh, that's because we've gone past our full... Uh, we've gone past the, the amount that normally we would... Uh, uh, you know, our max. A and uh, that only happens from getting uh, limits going. Uh, so... Yeah, it just happens. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to focus on killing this thing. There we go. Uh, the yeah, when so when it breaks, it it uh, it goes back. It, it goes over your maximum until you bring it back down by you know if it's HP until getting hit or MP just MP AP using it up. But. Um, It'll still hit the general maximums, which is 9,999 for health and um, 999 for MP and AP. Although there are higher than maximums, but you need special items for that. Anyway, when Zack's experience points reach a certain value, the DMW will sometimes stop at triple seven. In which case, Zack will level up and his stats parameters will be strengthened. If you have a cursed ring equip, um, you won't level up, <laughs> so be careful. Um, yeah, leveling up is nice. It makes you stronger, surprisingly. If you just keep the cursed ring on and then just, like, wait <laughs> to level up for a long time, the game will just, like, give you 50 levels in a battle. It's great. Blizzard Blade obtained. Nice. So we got a bunch of materials out of that. But yeah, that's the boss of chapter one. Soldier second class Zack, victorious again. Good work. Now, get out of there. You've only got five minutes. Got it. Director Lazard, are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. Got a blast. Whoa, whoa, there's another one. No time to play. Uh oh. It wasn't that easy for the other battle. Oh. one more you owe me <laughs> you lost your focus uh yeah oh sorry if your sword got any wear tear or rust on it <laughs> you're a little more important than my sword but just, just a little, a little. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. I'm here. I must apologize. Being on site is taxing. You didn't have to come personally. This operation will bring an end to the war. I wanted to see it through. Soldier Second Class Zack. Sir! You put forth a good effort at Fort Tamblin. I saw it with my own eyes. To be frank, my evaluation is... You are a force of nature. You somehow defeated an entire enemy force by yourself. I was shocked as well. You've grown strong. Your bravery during the Wu-Tai War will be remembered for generations. Hooray! It seems your dream of becoming a hero has already come true. Director Lazard, that's a bit much. 
Zack here still has a lot to accomplish. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Zack, keep up the good work. Fire Emblem obtained. And got Zach, Hero of the Wu Tai War? Sephiroth is waiting. Sephiroth is waiting? Sephiroth? The hero? Me? Wow! I'm gonna meet a hero! <laughs> uh oh. These aren't. These aren't Wu Tai soldiers. Who the heck are these guys? Heightened emotions affected TMW. Yay, I'm thinking about Sephiroth now. Uh, but yeah, if you were wondering in the last episode why we didn't get the trophy, it's because you get it over here. Activating combat mode. If you don't get that evaluation, uh, then try to um, reload a save file and see who you missed. You should kill 16 groups of enemies in that. Ooh, these guys. These guys are being jerks. You can't really... Sometimes you can interrupt enemies using magic, but other times not not too much. Anyway, we defeated question mark, question mark, question mark. Come on. Now he's gonna go steal a toad dial or something. Hmm. Zack, take the director to safety. Contact Sephiroth. Zack can handle it. Now go! Follow me, director. He did call me a hero. Oh. Director Lazard. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Zack, I should be fine now. Assist and Geo. Yeah, I'm on it. Well, now we're going back again. There and back again is Zack's tail. Okay, well, yeah. Now I'm coming. What could possibly be waiting for us that I need to prepare for? Angeo! Angeo! There's more of these guys on the ground. What? These guys aren't Muay troops. Yeah. <sighs> All right. <laughs> there's a there's another boss here. This is the boss of Chapter One. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you got to fight summons in this game. Is that cool? We get to fight Ifrit, Demon of Fire, who very surprisingly is weak to Blizzard. So you just kind of want to spam Blizzard and also not get hit. So, pro tip, don't get hit by his attacks. Also, uh, whenever you get that no MP cost, just keep hitting that button. Yeah, dodge roll is going to be your best friend over here. I really, really rarely ever use block. But yeah, now we get to use Octo Slash. I love Octo Slash. Octo Slash, nobody suspects a thing. The only problem with Blizzard is that your enemy needs to be stationary. Spam that blizzard on this. Probably not going to get it down to zero. Oh, we did. Wow. Yeah, he uses Hellfire, which does a nice amount of damage. Uh, I'm going to keep quiet for a moment just so we can hear the battle music for a second. Or the, the boss music. I just really like it. I'm so glad that they gave us the uh, ability to skip, because my god, sometimes... I just want to hear the, the, the main part again. Or we can kill him here. Concentrate. Hey, we got another Assault Twister. The soundtrack in this game is really good. It's a lot more heavy metal-y than the original Final Fantasy VII, but it's got its own charm and it kind of works. Hmm. 
Holy. Yeah, right? Oh. Genesis. The hmm. missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? A human copy? Where's Angeal? I thought he was fighting around here. <laughs> so he's gone too. What? Wait, what does that mean? It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. Oh. No way! I know what kind of guy Angeal is, and he'd never do that! <laughs> Angeal wouldn't betray us! Never! Well, he wouldn't betray us, indeed. The plot is thickening. We're not going to stop the episode here, because we're only at about 16 minutes, so let's keep going into Chapter 2. But for now, man. Genesis copies, and Jill is missing, too. We got to see Sephiroth be absolutely What's with cool. Angel? How long is he going to slack off like this? It's already been a month. Sephiroth's no help either. Lumping Angeal together with Genesis. Genesis is a deserter who took a bunch of seconds and thirds along with him. He used copies of himself to attack us. Angeal wouldn't condone something like that. His soldier honor means way too much to him. Yeah. Everything's so messed up now. Angeal, just come back to us. Second class, Zack. That would be me. Who is this? Director Lazard wants to see you. Go to the briefing room. Hey, wait! Who was that? Hmm. Any word on Angeal? He hasn't contacted his family either. <sighs> so, so what's what this about? A new assignment. I want you to go to the hometown of our missing soldier first class, Genesis. Huh? According to the parents, they've had no contact with Genesis whatsoever. But they can't be trusted. Why? They're his family. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had already dispatched some staff. But we've lost contact. Huh. I want you to go and investigate. I wonder if those were Turks will if go they with were you. in suits. Oh, speaking of Turks. Song of the Turks. Hey. I love this how short his is hair is. Really gloomy. Hmm. Let me know when you're ready to go. I love Tsung. Like, legit, one of my favorite characters from... The compilation. The song has been added to DMW. A new limit break has been unlocked. Airstrike. When Zack's emotions are heightened and the bond between him and one of the several characters goes stronger, that character's image will be added to the DMW. It's connected to Zack's memories. When new images added, certain memories may play as images from Zack's heart. We already saw that with uh, Angeal. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hello? Oh, hey! It's Kunzel. Did you read my mail? Not yet. I'll read it later. I'm in a meeting in the briefing room right now. Gotcha. Hey, can I talk to you after that? I'm kind of busy, but if you can keep it short... Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll be outside the briefing room. When you acquire a summon material, the DMW will now sometimes enter summon mode. When all the real images change to summons, uh, when, where all the real images change to summons. When all three reels match, you can call forth powerful summons like Ifrit. So example mission, um, mission 811, rematch with Ifrit. 
So all the summons are acquired through missions. Um, and usually after you've actually fought them in the game. Uh, the summon mode on the DMW is something that just happens on its own. You just, you don't do anything about that. Oh god, we got a lot of mail. What do I think about Angeal? It seems every soldier first class has a quirk of the three, but I think Angeal has a lot of common sense is a trustworthy fellow. Let's face it, Genesis never found group activities appealing, so Angeal is, in fact, the spiritual leader of soldier. I got all the respect for him too, and I envy you for getting to work with him so often. Uh, so yeah, the useful tips here are also things that uh, were not in the original game. Uh, summon mode, we just learned about. Unlock Ifrit. So this is just telling you straight up, it's in mission 811. Uh, Tonberry's knife is an item that will unlock Tonberry on the DMW under a summon. It's under 1023. And Magic Pot um, is uh, a summon that you can also get from 1023. And uh, you need to do specific things in order to get it. It's kind of annoying, but these are technically obtainable in the near future slash now. But yeah, for now. Well, we can talk to Tsang to move onward, but. New mission is available. You console? Before you go no. out on a mission, you know, because we're not. Yeah, we're. This always gets restocked every time. That it's <laughs> it always gets restocked every time we come here. It's not really going to have that many cool things, but Thunder is a good material for us. Uh, we also got new equipment, namely the Fire Omelette over here, which boosts um, MP, Vitality, and Spirit and halves damage from fire attacks. Really good. Uh, and I'm going to replace the Bronze Bagel with it. Uh, as for Assault Twister, uh, we're gonna, we mastered this one, uh, so I'm actually gonna start working on a different thing. In this case, we'll do Blizzard Blade, which is ice-based physical, oh, well, ice-based AP attack. Uh, we also have here an HP of Materia, which increases HP by 10%, and it gets better as it levels up. And we also got Thunder, which I think I'm going to replace Fire with, because I like Thunder a lot. So, yeah, we'll talk to Tsang to, to do what we hey, need Zach. to do for this chapter, but for now... Word of advice? You should go places and do stuff before missions. Mm -hmm. You know, so you don't have any regrets. So, what do you say we go down to one and head to Sector 8? Alright, let's explore the town a little before we get going, I guess. Ooh. This place looks a lot nicer from the PSP version, let me tell you. Here we are, Sector 8. Okay. Also incorporates a now lot of design we split up. from Remake, obviously. Wait, what? You brought me here just to ditch me? <laughs> Don't you get it? This is for you. You usually have so little time before assignments, and you can get more done if you're on your own. If you want to go back, go that way. Mm-hmm. See you, Zach. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Bye. So yeah, we get to explore now, and there's actually a bunch of side content for us to do in the game in general. Uh, one second. Okay. Like talk to people. This is Sector Eight, the place for entertainment. If you walk from the fountain toward the clock tower, you'll get to Loveless Avenue. If you go up the stairs there. You can go to the Sector 1 station. Hmm. From the station, you can catch a train to the Sector 5 slums. Cool, thank you. Uh, so we're gonna go to Loveless Avenue first. I like this place. Uh, as you can see, there's stuff to do there, there, there. Bunch of, whole bunch of things. Uh, nothing down this way. The blue just means it's a area transition, the red means you can't do anything. Oh, thanks for patrolling Midgar. You're with Soldier, I see. But what business do you have here? Well, no business, really. It is the duty of the 18th Squad of the Shinra Security Department to patrol the streets of Sector 8. 
Anyone who disturbs the peace in Sector 8, soldier or not, will be dealt with. Whoa now. Rude. Take it easy there, guy. This is actually good timing. I have something to say. What Midgar needs right now is not soldier. Um, what do you mean? Who is it that finds lost children and takes them back to their mothers? Who is it that catches the crooks who steal change from vending machines? Who is it that warns young people talking loudly on their phones in trains? That is all us. All right. So, who Midgar really needs is the Shinra Security Department. All right. uh, thanks for your service? <laughs> you won't be so arrogant for much longer. We'll be holding a joint training session with Soldier soon. Hmm. Security against Soldier. We'll find out soon enough who the true elites are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I look forward to it. Yeah, we got new missions now. It's uh, in also in the past. The attention. But that's about to end at this next joint training. Okay, cool. In the past, it didn't tell you that you got new missions until you hit a save point. Now, it tells you right away so that you don't go crazy trying to find the ways to unlock missions. But yeah. Uh, most of the missions that you unlock through side quests like this will disappear after chapter 8, this is the or after you get to chapter 8, so make sure that you at least talk to these people now, uh, if not, do the missions. Loveless, an epic tale of doomed love and shattered friendships. It's a classic that's even been adapted for the stage, and a production is put on every year. I am a member of the study group, a fan club devoted to Genesis. We study Loveless to gain deeper insight into the work that Genesis loves so much. We began as a group that studied the Loveless text within Red Leather, another Genesis fan club. However, we grew tired of the shallow fandom prevalent in Red Leather, so we broke off from them. So, mm -hmm. would you like to join the study group and delve deep into the Loveless text? Sure. Like yeah, why not? Welcome. You are now a fellow worshipper of Loveless. Hooray! Oh, I think you just got new mail. Why don't you take a look? Hey, we got mail. Invitation to Loveless. Loveless on stage is as popular as ever. This year's production retains the love story from the female point of view with a focus on acts two and three as usual. This interpretation features additional scenes of the two friends, making it closer to the original text. Acts 2 and 3 of Loveless have become famous thanks to the plays, but pundits agree that the story's true value lies in Act 4. Could the Aesir's production make up for it? Join us at the theater as we decide for ourselves. So, you have- there are gonna be a bunch of- Loveless is an epic It's weird, but there uh, are gonna be a bunch of, uh, fan clubs for- various people and things that you have to join in the game in order to get a trophy. Uh, it also... Uh, you get a trophy for joining all the clubs, and I think you get a trophy for getting all the mail in the game. It's strange. But anyway, personnel announcement. Effective today, Rufus Shinra has been appointed to Vice President and Corporate Officer. Additionally, Rufus Shinra is departed on a long-term business trip, the details of which cannot be dis disclosed for security reasons. Huh. Okay. It's weird. Never heard of the guy before, and now apparently he's just going somewhere else. Okay. Well, let's check out other places here. Uh, and admission is available. Can't talk to everybody here, but it's nice that they just have NPCs in general. Just makes the place feel a little bit more something. Excuse me, but are you with Soldier? I am. Soldier Operative Zack, yes. Zack? I've never heard of you. You must be Soldier Second Rate. Wow. We were just talking about who the greatest Soldier member is. For me, it's Angeal. He's so straight-laced and thrifty to boot. Mm-hmm. If we're talking about the greatest in Soldier, I can't think of anyone other than Sephiroth. Mm-hmm. Just imagining I agree. him walking around shirtless is enough to make me swoon. Big agree right there. You two don't know what you're talking about. This is the age of Genesis. 
There's nobody better in soldier than him. Okay. Soldier first classes have a big female following, it looks like. Uh huh. Interesting. What sets Genesis's fan club apart is that we're better funded than other fan clubs. Oh, that makes you better. We have a very generous sponsor that's backing us, and we sell various merchandise too. Uh huh. How about it? Would you like to join Red Leather, the premier Genesis fan club? Yeah, sure. Why not? As a perk of new membership, you automatically gain a chance to win a replica of Genesis's rapier. Ooh. Oh. It looks like you just received your first newsletter. Hooray! How about you? Would you like to join Keepers of Honor, a fan club dedicated to Angeal? Yes, please. If you join now. You'll get our recent newsletters that include bits of Angeal's official profile. All right. I'd love to. Welcome. You are now an official member of Keepers of Honor. Cool. See? You just received your first newsletter. Hooray! How about you? Can you let me join the Sephiroth Club? Within Soldier, there's no one more popular than the hero Sephiroth. Which explains why he has so many fan clubs, from big to small, casual to utterly devoted. There's just too many to count. Uh-huh. That's why it's important to look for a fan club that suits your needs. So you're not gonna let me in is what you're saying. Okay, well, we joined two other fan clubs. Genesis Fan Club Newsletter 666. This issue is for newcomers to Red Leather. As a welcome gift, here's some basic information about Genesis. Hobby, reading. He happened upon a copy of Loveless in his parents' study. It's been his favorite work ever since. Why he joined Soldier. The heroics of Sephiroth, who is the same age as Genesis, inspired him to work for the good of the world. We'll update you on any new information as it becomes available. Seems like people don't know that he's <laughs> defected. Move to Genesis Girls folder. Angeal Club, uh, Fan Club Newsletter 311. Hello, fan club members. Let's take another peek into Angeal's unauthorized profile. Favorite hobby, doting over dogs. The bigger the hassle, the cuter the dog. Favorite read, Famous Gardens Monthly, a magazine on various flora published by Shinra. Now, isn't that just like the noble, nature-loving men we all know and love? That's all for this update. We'll let you know when we have more to share with you. Move to Keepers folder. Okay, so once again, it's just good to get in on those and uh, as early as possible just to get the uh, the mail going. Uh, let's head to the next area, I guess. You guys don't say anything. There's nobody over here. The nice thing about the map is that it will tell you if there's something going on. Hey, buddy. Are you with that Shinra outfit soldier? Mm -hmm. I hate Shinra with a passion. I want nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, let's just take a look around over here. It just looks nice, you know? It just looks nice here. So, between this episode and the next one, I'm going to be taking uh, care of a bunch of the missions. I've been waiting for the train for quite a while now, but it still hasn't come in yet. Oh. Lately, there's been a lot of delays. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing we can do on the station platform over here. Shinra Railway's new locomotive is pulling in soon! Its model name is the Mark 93-2! I can't wait to see it! Oh man, I'm so pumped! Okay, it's Boy Likes Trains. I came to see the new Shinra train with my big brother! I can't wait to see it! Oh man, I'm so pumped! Good for you too! Well... Let's go and take a look at the missions we have over here. So as you can see, we have peacekeeping troops in the Shinra Electric Power Company. We have to end the war with Wutai, pursue the remnants. We have Hojo's Lab, sample monsters. We have seeking precious items for looking for items. And we have Zack the Materia Hunter with starting out. Uh, and each of those are going to have subcategories, but I don't want to take it off for now. Uh, but yeah, we'll go over the basics of missions and everything else in the mission episode. Materia Generation. The Materia Room on the Soldier Floor is where they perform Materia Generation. If you bring them a Mako Stone, they can turn it into Materia for you. Mako Stones can be obtained through missions and other means. Interesting. So in the uh, 
front hall here of the Shinra building, which if you've played Final Fantasy VII, it looks familiar, there's this lady over here. Right now, we are running a special on potions. The general public still has to pay full price, but for soldier members and Shinra troops, they are currently free. How about you, sir? Would you like one? Yes, please. You bet I want one. So in the original version of the game, when save points didn't heal you, this was a full heal, and you could just come back here as much as you want and get it. Uh, what it also does, which is the reason why it's still worth it to be here, is that it gives you a re-raise status, which uh, brings you back to life once. And once again, as if, if you get hurt and you lose that status, you could just come back here. Um, it's really nice because in that room is a save point where you can access missions, so you can just keep going into the missions, uh, keep do redoing the re-raise and, and re rinsing and repeating. Uh, here's the exhibition hall, Shinra Model PA-86. I came as soon as I heard the exhibit room was open to the public. The Shinra company's achievements are simply amazing. This room is a testament to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the Shinra number 26 rocket. Huh. A conceptual model of the project that Shinra Space Development has put all their efforts into in recent years. I hope that goes well. Once completed, it's on to the launch. Sounds pretty cool. Shinra model SA-37. Airship high wind. That's pretty cool too. How do I make her realize my feelings? Her? Oh, you heard nothing. Uh huh. Hardy Daytona. So this actually had a different like look to it, but they changed it to make it look like a Harley. The exhibit room is open to the general public. We ask yeah. that you refrain from any conduct that would disturb our visitors. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go to the soldier floor for now. There's not really much else we can do in the exit, hey, uh, in Sam, the entrance. You want it in the briefing room. Oh, yeah? There's a Turk waiting, so you should hurry. Okay. I had no idea things were so hectic. Sorry I distracted you. See, so, yeah, that was just a way to get to know the area here. Where's the briefing room again? The briefing right there. Rooms... Right there. You see it? Man, are you all right? <laughs> You'd better go now, Zach. Hey, good luck out there. I'll mail you when I have time. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, so there's also a few things that we can do on this floor. Uh, so we're not going to go in the briefing room just yet. First we'll head into the materia room. Naturally formed materia are extremely rare, but Mako stones are relatively easy to obtain. Mm -hmm. A Mako stone is crystallized materia made of concentrated Mako energy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't function as materia, but if we process it here, we can make it into materia. Soldier sometimes runs Mako stone excavation missions. You should go sometime. Okay, well, we got a new mission over there, uh, M821. Soldier, sometimes, if you bring your... Okay, so once we do those missions, the uh, natural, most of the materia being you they'll give us Mako stones that we can use uh, for this side quest, so that's going to be another thing we're going to be doing in that episode. Um, new missions available. Hey, Zach. I hear that you were quite the hero in the Wutai operation. Thank you. They say you must have taken out about a thousand Wutai soldiers in Fort Yeah, Kimbler. yeah, exactly a thousand. But don't forget, I'm gonna be the next one to make first. Oh, yeah? Me. Okay. Good luck. Uh, we also have the training room here. Everyone's doing squats over there. This is the training room, where we gauge the physical fitness of soldier members. You're Soldier's Second Class Zack, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. let's hope it goes well. Thank you. Fitness checks up because of your exposure. 
Okay, so we can't do anything here yet, as far as I know. But uh, we are going to be coming back here for a different side quest. But I do believe that that's everything we need to do to prepare for the missions video. So I'm going to end off the video here. We're at 40 minutes anyway. I'm going to end off the video here and next time on Final Fantasy uh, 7 Crisis Core Reunion. Um, well, the mission videos are not are going to be like they were in the original Let's Play. They're not going to take place of the regular video slots. Uh, the mission videos are going to be in their own uh, time frame, just you know, in between in between uh, days. So uh, next time, if you don't want to watch the mission videos, next time we'll start the chapter two mission of. Uh, heading to uh, Genesis's hometown um, but in the next or in the next other video we'll uh, have a primer on missions and just go over everything there so thank you very much for watching it's been several level four and I'll see you next time goodbye everybody bye bye